What's happening YouTube land? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use Windows Live Movie Maker to put slow motion on your video and also keep your audio track, your audio track, because one of the big problems with Windows Live Movie Maker is when you slow down your video to add slow motion, you lose the audio track that's attached to that. So I'm going to show you how to take that video and extract the audio put in another program, slow it down, and then slap it right back into Windows Live Movie Maker. Because nowadays, a lot of times on YouTube, you use Windows Live Movie Maker because it comes built in with Windows 7. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right over here. Now, I have a clip I have loaded here from one of my favorite scenes from Cowboy Bebop. Yo, head f In Windows Live Movie Maker. Grandma! Blah, blah, blah. But I have one spot I like to slow down. I know you didn't mean that, Spike. So it's a scene. Right there. Now, the clip I would like to slow down is the gunshot scene where the guy kind of shoots off the gun and the guy gets shot. This scene right here, I'd like to slow this down. Now, I'd like my audio to stay attached to that. So what I'm going to do is create the, I'm going to take the original video, I'm going to pull the audio out of it. We can do that simply with um, any video converter. And I, I don't mean any video converter, I mean the program any video converter. So we'll go to download.com. We'll just type that in. Any video converter. And look at that, any video converter. Check that out right there. Actually, this is the one I was looking for. Kind of tried to trick me there. Any video converter, this is the one we're looking for here with this kind of icon right here. So we're gonna use any video converter to convert our video to an audio file. And then we're gonna use an audio program to manipulate that file. Now, we have any video converter. Let's try to pull that up any video converter. Now, let's load the file, add video, click on the file, this one right here, open it. Now what we're going to do, over here on the right, we would like to select audio. Let's do MP3. MP3 and we're going to click on uh, edit and we're going to click on options. Now, click on browse. We're going to export this one to the desktop. Click OK and OK. And now, I just click on convert. What this is going to do, it's going to convert my video to an audio track, an MP3. Now, that the video has been completed, close out of that, we'll fire up Audacity. Audacity is an audio, a free audio editing program. So we're gonna use Audacity to take that audio we've extracted, and we're gonna slow it down. But, just to let you guys know where Audacity is at, on the web, you can go to audacity.soundforge.net. That's where you download Audacity. Now, that we have Audacity, file's been converted. What we're going to do is manipulate that file inside of Audacity. So, the real trick here is matching up your timeline with Windows Live Movie Maker and then your audio editing program. Because our, the part we would like to slow down starts at the minute 30 second mark and it ends at the two minute mark. So we're gonna have to dive into Audacity and um, find that spot and then slow it down. So inside of Windows Live Movie Maker we like to slow this one down to half speed. So click on 0.5 and then now the scene's been slowed down and we don't have audio because that's what happens inside of Windows Live Movie Maker. You slow it down you lose your audio. So, to keep, to keep that audio, pull it up in Audacity. Like I said, it was the minute and 38 mark. And then the, let's see. Minute and 45 second mark. Almost minute 46. So, we have our original file right here. And if you go to the bottom of Audacity, you can decide when you would like to start and then um, also when you like to end. So we have a, we're starting at a minute 38 
and then we, like I said, the end time was a minute, I'll zoom in for you guys, a minute 45. Pull it back up, we'll go a minute 45. There we go. So, we'll zoom in on Audacity. Click the zoom tool right here. We'll zoom out of here. Now, selection. From a minute 38, we'll go all the way down to, what did it say, a minute 45. Or is it four? I think it said 46. 46? 45, 78. 70. So almost 46. So we'll take that area, we'll copy it, Control C, we'll do a new file, new, Control V, we'll paste it. Now, now we have our audio track in a regular speed. I'll play it for you. <coughs> Blah, 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 blah. So, that's the regular speed. Now we like to slow it down half speed because that's what we slowed it down inside of Movie Maker. Still click on um, effects and then uh, change speed. Negative 50, that's what we're looking for, negative 50. Click OK, boom, 50%. Control C. Actually, we'll do it a file. This is where you'll export it, so go to file all the way down to export. We'll export it to the desktop and we'll call it um, super slow motion. Hit save and then we click OK. There we go, that's what we're looking for. We don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Now, this is where we need to add that track to Windows Live Movie Maker. So, we just click on home, add music, because it's an audio track. So we'll find it as slow motion, super slow motion. Click on that. All right. So we'll drop it in right at the beginning. Now, if you noticed, actually, is that the right? Let's let's just play it out and see how it goes. There we go. Now we like to kill that audio because we don't need any more of that. So back it up a little bit, back it up, forward, back it up. Now go to our music options and we'll split it. And now let's just kill that last part. There we go. Let's check this one out. Move our time marker down to our awesome gunfight scene inside of Cowboy Bebop, which is like the most awesome anime ever. That's right. <laughs> What do you say, guys? Check it out. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? Wait for it. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. There you go. That's our video. That's it right there. We have taken the original audio track. We've pulled it out of the video. We've taken it into another program, slowed it down, and put it right back into Windows Live Movie Maker. And we did this all for free so that's a pretty cool thing for you guys right so that is how you take an audio track outside your video throw it right back in inside of windows live movie maker so now when you use slow motion you can have that audio track so i hope you guys i hope you guys learned something um if there's anything else you'd like to learn anything else you'd like for me to teach you as far as stretching the limitations of windows live movie maker um send me a request request at mahalo.com uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. And like always, guys, thanks for watching.